have you ever wondered why some fish on your farm i'm talking to catch fish farmers now why some fish are stunted in growth and when i say stunted in growth that means they are not growing as they should right so if your fish is supposed to be one kg in five months that means in five months you're getting around 400 grams 500 grams have you ever wondered about the reason why that is happening well in this video i'm going to be talking about how to reduce the percentage of runs in your catfish farm there are so many things you can do to achieve this and i'm going to be sharing that with you in this video before we go any further guys i still remain your one and only shikemi olabise the farm lady and you're welcome back to the channel make sure you smash on that subscribe button if you're yet to do that turn on your post notification bell so as to get notified whenever we post amazing content like this now someone is going to ask me what are runs right now runs are fish that are stunted in growth when i say stunted in growth that means they are not growing like their peers right and this can be genetically induced self-induced you're going to learn more about this as we go on in this video so i'm going to be highlighting five things you can do in order to reduce the percentage of runs in your catfish farm number one stock high quality fish seed high quality fish seed in the sense that you're stocking fish seed that are healthy that means whenever you want to purchase your fish make sure you are buying from a very very trusted what seller don't just go to any farm and buy your fish seed your juveniles your fingerlings no buy from a trusted vendor so as to ensure that you are getting what quality and healthy fish seeds now doing this will help you what reduce the percentage of runs in your fish farm because definitely they are not going to sell bad fish stock to you okay now we'll move on to number two so number two point is to stock even size range of fish now if you're stocking juveniles for example make sure that you are stocking the correct size juveniles normally should be juveniles normally should be within eight centimeters to ten centimeters so when you're stocking ensure you're stocking what within that size range don't stock juveniles and you're stocking eight centimeter and in that you're also having what three centimeter it makes no sense because it's very definite that the eight centimeter will bully what the three centimeter during feeding and those ones that are smaller will eventually turn to runs because they are not getting what access to feed right because they are being bullied during feeding so ensure you are stocking what the same size range whenever you intend to stock your pond so that is point number two let's move on to point number three point number three is your feeding technique now when it comes to catfish farming we have two major feeding techniques you can adopt we have the spot feeding and then we have the broadcasting feeding now as you can see this pond this is their feeding point and that is why they are gathered here right we've already trained them to always gather at this point during the time for feeding and that is why you can see them here so spot feeding simply means you are feeding your fish at a particular spot right so as to what get your fish properly fed why for broadcasting simply means you're spreading your feed all over the surface of the water now in order to get the best it's always good to what combine both feeding technique spot feeding and your broadcasting feeding now spot feeding for those who are very eager or for the fish that are very eager and the broadcasting will what ensure you are able to target the fish that are not coming what to the feeding point so combining these two will help you reduce the percentage of runs because you are sure and you're certain that all the fish are properly fed so there are some farmers that will get good fish seed eh? but they will mess the whole thing up with their management routine they will mess the whole thing with their feeding routine feeding plan or the type of feed they use the problem is not from the hatchery but the problem is from you of course we have runs that are genetically induced but there is also a category of runs that are self-induced that means your management routine your feeding is what is causing or making your fish what become 
run so you might get healthy fish and then at the end of the day they become runs because of your you know being careless about you know managing them and giving them the best right so note that that is not all runs that are from the hatchery or is not from the hatchery fault or from the brood stock or whatsoever it is there are some that are what self-induced so make sure you're doing the right thing in order to get the best let's move on to point number four point number four is sorting 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 and sorting i've always emphasized on sorting in this channel now sorting will help you what separate your fish into different sizes as we all know catfish are cannibals and they would always feast on the smaller and weaker ones and in order to curb this and also reduce the percentage of runs in your farm you have to sort so when you separate the bigger ones from the smaller ones you are going to have what time to concentrate on feeding what the smaller ones so they can pick up in their growth right so once you're able to sort you'll be able to feed them and then they don't get bullied during what feeding so sorting will help you reduce the percentage of runs on your catfish farm now let's move to point number five now point number five is to feed your fish with a feed that is of high quality i cannot overemphasize this quality cannot you know you cannot bargain on that quality simply ensures that your fish are getting the best they are getting the required nutrients what for their growth at every stage of their production circle right so quality feeding will ensure that they get the required nutrients protein the fat the vitamins everything is in check so if you're able to give your fish good feed quality then you're going to get the best out of them they are not going to be lacking in some nutrients and it is going to what boost their growth so feed quality determines whether you're going to have what runs in your fish farm or not so for those who are always going after cheap feed the feed is cheap and you're not concerned about the quality or the composition of that feed then you really need to check that right because this reoccurring issue of runs on your farm or your fish not getting to the required weight that you want them to get to will keep on happening so ensure you're feeding them with the right feed and what quality feed as well now before i go i have another bonus point and this bonus point is to have a very good feeding and management plan a very good feeding and management plan having a very good feeding and management plan will help you achieve the best in your fish farm even if you're not there your workers can always follow what this plan you're not working out of budget you're not working you know blindly right and if you need this feeding plan you want to get the best result from your fish farm you want to get the best result from your fish you want you know recommended feed recommended routine that you can follow then you should be sending me a message now because we can prepare a feeding and management plan for you depending on the capacity of fish farm you have 100,000 200,000 1,000 we can prepare a feeding and management plan for you at a fee of course so if you need one make sure you're sending a message to the whatsapp number on your screen now to get your feeding and management plan mind you this feeding and management plan is personalized right no two feeding and management plan is the same so a personalized feeding and management plan will really help you you know get that result that you desire so send a message now to get that for your farm so for those who need fish seed healthy fish seed which was the number one point you can always reach out and book for your fish seed healthy juveniles like i'll recommend always stock juveniles you can come and get from the farm lady trust me you get the best so reach out and book ahead for your fish seed so as to what get the best because that is the starting point if you're not stocking healthy fish then every other thing you're doing is a waste right so get the foundation right and get you know good results at the end of your production circle so if you found this video interesting make sure you give it a huge thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section smash on that subscribe button and make sure you are always on the lookout for our videos all the time right i'll see you in our next one bye for now